you find that the feminists, they emerged and they really, really spewed a lot of their nonsense and rubbish into society. So much so that the men began to be terrified of saying anything out of fear of being referred to as misogynists. People who are against women, they became terrified. Huh? Wallahu musta'an. So now as a response to that, you find a new group that has emerged. They are referred to or known as the Red Pill Movement. الشديد, who are what? The complete opposite, reactional, as a response to this movement that has been around for some time now. And they spew a whole load of nonsense as well. That which is against the Sharia. And you'll always find this when we look at the bid'ah of the murji'ah. You know, we hear this statement from time to time, right? When you try to advise somebody, Akhi, don't judge me, you don't know what's in my heart. Someone might be uttering statements of shirk and kufr, and you advise him, he says, Akhi, you know, la ilaha illallah, yani, you don't know what's in my heart. Right? This is even something that is quite prevalent today. You advise somebody, he's not doing this because he's trying to defend or propagate innovations. لا, miskin ma ya'rif. He's ignorant. You try to advise him, he's committing all sorts of filth and evil and sins. He says to you, you don't know what's in my heart. Right? We don't just utter la ilaha illallah with our tongues and believe it in our hearts. It has to be followed up with actions. Right? Likewise, we see it today. You find that the feminists who are, of course, not upon the correct path. I don't know what Gerenes in somehow the feminists. They are the ones who are controlling everything now. Huh? They are destroying households. It started up with equal rights. We have to be equal. And now she wants more rights. Huh? You have the complete opposite that is now taking a stronghold, which is, of course, another extreme. And as Ibn al-Qayyim, and also Ibn Taymiyyah, and I believe also Ibn al-Jawzi, they all mention something that is similar. Shaitan does not care. Whether you go right wing or left wing, whether you become an extremist or you become a liberalist, he does not care. Normally when we speak about extremism, the first thing that comes to mind is those who are khawarij. But also the opposite is true. And the shaitan doesn't care whether you water down the religion, you dilute it, or you go extreme. He doesn't care. Same to him. Right? وَكَذَلِكَ جَعَلْنَاكُمْ أُمَّةً وسطا. We made you a balanced nation in the middle. Not ifrat wala tafrit. It has to be in the middle. Right? When this group emerged, you had a whole load of liberals, those who dilute and water down the religion. They come to texts in the Quran and they say, Wallahi, this is not applicable in today's day and age. This is khalas, too much. End of time. Yeah. Huh? Time is finished. 2022 Al Gujira. 2022. Right? All of this is what? Expired. Wallahi, nasma'akada. Because of them running away from that extreme. La. Even if that is an extreme, not everything that is done. On that side is always wrong. Of course, we condemn it. We see it to be wrong. But that doesn't mean you have to leave of everything that is right as well. وَكَذَلِكَ جَعَلْنَاكُمْ أُمَّةً وَسَطًا We made you a balanced nation. You will see all sorts of corruptions becoming extremely, extremely widespread. Right? So we are told, brothers and sisters, in this verse, فِيهِ رِجَالِ There are men. يُحِبُّونَ يَتَطَهَّرُوا They rectify their hearts. Right? which leads then to a rectification of one's actions and that which he utters with his tongue. And I'll conclude with this one point, right? It's being seen as something masculine to swear constantly on your tongue. Isn't that so? That you're seen as masculine that if you speak like AT, not that guy, Abu Taymi, that's what AT stands for. Huh? But this other guy that has emerged, that has the same initials, AT. Hmm? Every other word that comes out of his mouth is an F word. Huh? Every other word. And they see this as something that is what? Masculine. 
to swear a lot that makes you look like a man. Huh? This is no rectification of the tongue. Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam he said, كما جاء في الحديث الصحيح, ليس المؤمن بالطعان ولا اللعان ولا الفاحش البذي. The believer is not someone who insults all the time or curses all the time. لعن كثرة اللعن. ولا الفاحش someone who speaks in a vulgar way. This is not the way of the believer. This is not being masculine. If anything, you're dropping in the eyes of Allah Azza wa Jal. And slowly removing yourself from the realm of believers. It's not something masculine. It's not something to actually be proud of. You are just killing your heart by speaking like that. Right? And what ultimately matters is what Allah Azza wa thinks of you. Not what these individuals now have propagated into the public. May Allah Azza wa guide our shabab. And for all the elders who don't know what I'm speaking about, 11 billion views on TikTok. 11 billion views this guy has on TikTok. Just the other day I was checking some of the posts on Twitter. Everyone's watching him, Muslim and non-Muslim. There's a video that went round, there's somebody was asked, who is your role model? He said, of course, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And then he says, also Ninkan, or Galka, right? He's also mentioning the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the same breath as Ninkan. Everybody's watching him. And they're taking him as a role model as how to become a man. And what his ideology, should I say, right, is built on is men should go and commit fahisha. Zina. Huh? He's a gal. He says it is haram for a woman. He's a non-Muslim. He says it's haram for a woman to sleep around, to commit fahisha, but it's okay for men. It's good. And men are watching it. Thinking, yeah. He's speaking about working out and just, you know, when it comes to money, how to make money. But it involves all types of filth and evil and whatever have you. This is what the Shabab are looking at and so glued to. On every platform, YouTube, this guy took over. He has taken the internet by storm. Hmm? Inshallah ta'ala, maybe one day we'll do a lecture on the sifat of rujula, how to be a man. Inshallah ta'ala. Barakallahu feekum wa ahsanallahu ilaykum.